welcome to Brain Power Factory. Today, we're going to talk about myths and legends, Greek mythology. This is lesson number three in this week about Greek mythology again. So, what we're going to do today, we're going to have an introduction, what we're doing now, then the presentation, we're going to talk about a story from Greece, and then through the family tree, and then an extra task that you can do at home. What do we need for today? We need nothing during the lesson itself. Then after the lesson, you need paper, pen, and the story that we'll provide in a link in the description down below. So, we're going to read the story now. So if you would come with me, then we're going to have a nice story time. So, this story is about Pandora the Box. You might have heard of it. It's a story that takes place in the Titan War, the Ten Year War, we talked about in the last video. So, the story goes like this. Once the Zeus had reigned over the earth, he decided to ask Prometheus and Themis to create men and animals. So two gods to create animals and humans. To populate the earth as a new generation of mortal beings. Because they were not mortal beings. The mortal beings are the creatures that actually can die. Themis created animals and Prometheus was given the job to create men, human. Themis took this job very seriously and finished all of the animals before Prometheus had even decided what gifts to give mankind. So Prometheus was that took way too long. So by the time Prometheus was ready to give mankind the gifts, Themis had already used them all the animals. So Prometheus took too long and then Themis was like, I'm not gonna wait. So he took everything that the humans were gonna have and put them in the animals. So Prometheus was so angry that he stole the godly fire back from Zeus and gave it to the humans because he wanted to give power to the humans. Zeus was so angry that he chained Prometheus to a mountain forever. Zeus was still so angry that he wanted to punish mankind. He did this by creating a beautiful woman named Pandora. Pandora was given a box with a little bit of each of the gods' powers. Pandora then married and lived a very happy life, until one day she got very curious. Pandora and her husband decided to open the box. Well, you can already imagine that it's not going to go well, you know? Because Zeus was angry when he created her. So let's see what happened. When they opened the box, all the evils of the world came spilling out. According to the Greek mythology, this is where we get pride and the greed, pain, suffering, and anything bad to Pandora and her husband managed to close the box before every horror escaped. They only opened it one more time because the box whispered that it had hope inside and wanted to let it out. And they did open the box then. And luckily, hope was released for all of mankind. So that's the story about Pandora's box. And now we're gonna go back to talk about the family trees. See you! Hi, welcome back to the story. I think that Pandora's box is a very good story about greed and angry and everything. Because it's just a small part of the whole story about the Titan's War. So if you want to read more about it, you can just search for it or go to the link in the description. Because this really good story has come from there. So now we want to have a look at the family. Because all the gods and, and Titans are related to each other. Which is very interesting. So it's the parents were Gaia and Uranus, Earth and Sky. They had the Titans, which were 12 children and three others, but they were not part of the Titans. From the Titans, five of them were Hyperion, Thea, Cornus, Rhea, and a very hard one, which I even find hard to pronounce, Nemosi. I think it pronounced like that. And Hyperion and Thea had three children together. Helios, who represents the sun, Selene, who represents the moon, and Aeos, who represents the dog. Then Cronus and Rhea had six children, quite a lot. Hades, who was from the underworld, the dead. Demeter, who was for harvest. Poseidon, who was for the sea. Estia, the charge of the home and family. Zeus, who was in charge of the sky and thunder, and Hera, 
who is like in charge of women and birth and everything. And then this one, Mnemonos, I can't pronounce it, I'm very sorry. The Muses from Ars, Hebe, who works in youth. Hephaestus, who works in the crabs, like craftsmanship and work and everything. Ares, who works in war. And the other who works in war. That's very interesting because this is the god, this is the goddess. So the man and the woman both represent war. And Aphrodite, who works in love. This is just a small part of a very big family. It's insane. So, how does the family tree work? This is an example of basic family tree, like without making a very old. If you fill it in, you would fill yourself in here, then your mom and your dad, your mom and your dad, or anyone, your parents, then your grandparents, one here and one here, and then your great grandparents, one here. And you see, it starts with one and then two because you have two parents. But your parents also have two parents each, so then it's four. The next one is eight. If you go for the 16 and 32, which is way too much, way too much. So just like this. But now, if we understand this, then the extra task is going to be very interesting. If you are going to make a family tree with starting with the Hakkas, I write the name down in the description below so you can remember it. But the quest is to make um, a family tree as long as possible with the Hakkas. That's very hard, but I think you can do it. It's a very hard challenge. So if you found this, if you can go as far away back as possible, please send it to me via email so we can look at it and give your reaction to it and I hope to see you next time. So have a nice day and bye bye!